Hi everyone, Queen Cats back again. Nice to see you. I hope you have had a wonderful fall and winter so far. Uh, it's kind of a gloomy day here. We had snow yesterday and it's all gone today. And uh, who else believes that snow just belongs on the mountains besides me? Raise your hand. Yeah. I don't really like it in the city, so I like it up on the mountains. And I know where it is, and I know where to get it if I need my fix. So, I'm back to doing the usual thing. I'm in my studio here. Uh, my last video, with terrible lighting, by the way, was filmed inside. And um, so I hope everybody got the message about the front-facing camera uh, on the Samsung Galaxy phone. So... Now you all know it does have a front-facing camera, and there you go. So enjoy that. I am coming to you now with bag videos, and maybe Bentley, if he wants to hop up here, you can see him too, because he's 16 and a half pounds now. So I've been doing a lot of thrifting lately, and it's big on YouTube. So if you type in thrifting or thrift shopping or... What's a fancy word besides thrifting? Vintage. Oh, vintage. Vintage means second hand. Vintage means used. Vintage means... Bentley might be coming up. Vintage means uh, old. It could be 50s, 60s, uh, antiquing. So those are all, you know, words that you can use, that you can type under. And there's some fabulous finds out there. Some people... I have some really nice channels. I don't know any offhand right now, but they are, uh, we do communicate on here. So they're either my subscribers or I'm their subscriber. I subscribe to their channel. And uh, it's a really cool way to shop. You're going to find as you start thrifting, if you decide to go out and see what the, that whole thrifting world is like, right, Bentley? There he is. And uh, you'll see that. Um, you will be astonished at how cheap you can get some really amazing, even vintage or antique things. You can uh, go and uh, some of these places, some of these thrift stores, uh, a lot of them are like Bible uh, missions kind of thrift stores or they help people or they give Bibles. So a lot of, a lot of these um, Bible Christian sort of thrift stores are Christian based and they're helping so they always seem to have the best prices as opposed to like the Value Village or the uh, I was in the States a couple of weeks before Christmas and they had a a really popular uh, oh what the heck is it called a really popular brand of thrift stores there um, I mean, you can get things dirt cheap there too, but it's a really popular name. And if I think about it, I will put it here right now, unless I think about it and I'm thinking and nothing's coming to me. So, um, oh, what the hell is it? Anyway, I can't remember, but I will put it, I'll put it right here when I can remember the name. <clears throat> a lot of times, like those uh, Value Village or those commercial brand thrift stores, because they have a lot of them, are a lot more expensive than uh, just these little thrift stores that you find, maybe second-hand stores and uh, places like that. So uh, I've been shopping at those. I've been doing it for a long time, but uh, I think I'm going to show you one thing that I got uh, because I don't, I didn't bring anything else out here. I brought a whole whack of purses to film yesterday, and something happened, and I had to go out, so I couldn't film. So. Um, Another thing with thrift stores, too, is you can um, find brand new things in there. I find a good time of year to go is in January um, because people throw out everything. Like, they'll clean out their closets to either get all their new stuff in to their closets or they will just be fed up, say I'm starting a whole new year, I'm just getting rid of everything and maybe they won't buy so much this year. So there's a couple of things to look at. One really fascinating thing about the thrift store is um, before Christmas, like we're talking up to October, throughout the year and up to October, maybe part of November, there's tons of crystal and glass and beautiful um, 
You can find Royal Albert China. You can find silver dishes. You can find everything. And when Christmas comes, I don't know if it's cheaper to buy the stuff at the thrift store and then return, like not return it, but donate it back. There was no crystal to be found. There were no glasses, goblets, nothing at a lot of these thrift stores because people want to use them just for their tables at Christmas or parties. Maybe it's their year to do it and they do it one in five years, one in ten years, or every other year. And they just, instead of renting, they just go buy really nice and even expensive beautiful lead crystal and they bring it back to the store because the store is full of it in january february and all through the year is full of all this crystal again so that's a good thing to keep in mind is um the crystal if you want to do something really nice and you don't want to spend a lot of money and you know you shouldn't be returning things after you use them but there's one way to do it and that would be going to your thrift store getting it dirt cheap using it and donating it back so it's cheaper than renting but it's kind of like renting and you're donating it back so keep that in mind now uh i don't know if you if you're um aware of the name kipling the kipling bags they are bags that are made out of polyester right well come here show everybody how beautiful you are come on come on come on does that work anymore Oh, let me show you what I got Bentley at the thrift store. I've got to move my heater here. I really didn't come in here ready to move things around. Um, now, Bentley, I got him. I got him a scratching post yesterday, and you can see that it's brand new, brand new. And the only scratching done on it now is because of him yesterday. I got this for $6.99 at the Salvation Army, which is also known as the Sally Ann. And it's brand new, and it's the perfect colors for my studio. There's a little bit of green, and brand new. I mean, honest to God, these scratching posts, or the one my husband built our cats, and built he built Bentley a brand new one, in the stores they're three and four hundred dollars, and this probably would have been forty or fifty bucks in the store. Honest to God. Um, in some of those stores, crazy crazy and that's built with that's really solid that's not one of these really cheap things but you know I look at it and I think Ooh, why don't they have the scratching post anymore why did those people donate the scratching post what happened to the cat <laughs> that's what I thought so yeah you can they've got everything everything jewelry perfume everything so anyway about these Kipling bags I'm on the line uh, the site right now Kipling website and uh, this is the bag that I got. It doesn't show the price here, but I have another uh, channel here, which is um, Next Tag. And you can go to all these, but I'm Canadian, so these are in American prices, and American prices are always like $20 cheaper, if not more, than what we pay here. So this bag on this line here is $59.95. Well, this bag is the one I bought in the store here. It's $89. So here it is. It's a Kipling bag. It's the messenger bag. Uh, I don't know if it comes with the little Dewey Bob. They all come with little gorillas. This one didn't. I got it from the thrift store. Brand new. It still had the tags on it yesterday. The only thing missing is a little gorilla. And I, I have two more of these bags that I bought brand new from the store. And they have the little gorilla with them. Okay. I'm a little too old to be having gorillas on my bags, just like my Tokidokis. Tokidokis I don't use so much anymore, and I really do want to sell some, but that's another video. And uh, so it's missing where the little the little guys right here. Now, whether it never had them on, I mean, some kids go into the stores and rip them off or fall off, or the guy just kept it, or the girl, whoever. Anyway, they were brand, there was two, brand new with tags. There was a navy one. And there was a black one, so I bought them both, and I didn't even need any of them. But because $59.99 on the website, $89.99 here, what do you think I paid? Brand new, never used. Brand new, huge, huge, massive. I've got my stuff in here now. Huge. Big. It's got a big zipper pocket here. It's got a two sections for like a computer. It's got a little key fob, two big pockets here, a big pocket in the front for easy access, maybe for your cell phone, and it has um, an expander here. 
So if you've got a lot of crap that day, you can make the bag actually bigger. What do you think I paid? Okay, I got them both for the same price at the Salvation Army, brand new. $6.99 each. What? And at the Salvation Army, because it's classified as a... a um, oh, I can't even think of the name right now. It's classified as... Uh, no. <laughs> it's, uh, it, they don't charge tax because it's... Um, I went into another thrift store yesterday and got something, and they charged me tax. And they said, well, we're, not, we're a non-profit organization, but we're not classified as a... And if I think of it, I'll put the word right here. But only if I can think of it. I'll think of it. That other word hasn't come to me. So anyway, six ninety nine, no tax. You can't go wrong. So I bought one in navy, and I bought one in black. And I would have bought 50 if they would have had 50, because then I would have seriously started selling them on something. So anyway, I'm not interested in the navy one. So if anybody wants the navy one, I will give you a good price. But it won't be six ninety nine. So I think I'm going to put it on eBay because, um, hey, well, you know what I could do? I could hold some kind of contest. I've never done that before, and I don't really know if I'm capable of doing that because you can see that sometimes I'm not even on here for a month. But I better get to it. And, uh, yeah, so six ninety nine. So that goes to show you that thrifting is great. Thrifting, thrifting... You see all kinds of people there. You see people that are really down and out and homeless. But you know what the funny thing is? You don't really see a lot of them. And if you do, thank goodness there's stores for them or for people who can, who can buy things that they can afford. Valley Village has racked their prices so high. And especially at uh, Halloween because people go there for the costumes. So now they bring in a whole new line of costumes. Brand new. A whole section. It's all done professional. So check out your little tiny hole in the wall kind of back door little part of your city venture around you'll find these little antique stores little thrift stores little um you know needy stores and whatever the names are they got all kinds of names and shop really look around and look and you'll find some great treasures so i want to show you my little treasure before i go and here he is there's bentley and he's 16 and a half pounds Yes, look, say hello, and he's outgrown his eyebrows, but I think they're coming back because he's had these big black eyebrows, and um, yeah, so take care, and I will see you very soon. All right, and any questions, leave them in the below box, and I'll put up here those two things I'm trying to think of. Take care. Peace, guys. Bye.